Hollywood, welcome it's me, Marls44, and welcome back to another card fight Vanguard, card fight area, deck profile. Today's deck profile, we have the Dragonic that is vanquishing everything on your field. Dragonic Vanquisher. So, uh, with the release of GBT05, it got support, and we're going to jump into that. Um, unfortunately, this card did come out in GBT02, but I just never got around to doing a deck profile on it because I was focused on other deck profiles um, and I, I didn't have a schedule at that time too so that didn't help um, but yeah so now that we this guy got support we're finally gonna jump on the train and uh, get this thing done right uh, it's a really 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 strong deck of course Norikami being that retiring crazy retiring threat that it always is um, and this deck very good at like countering stuff like Legion so, uh, definitely a really good deck, especially because decks still use Legion as either backup vanguards or it's the main thing, um, because, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the cross, stuff like that, right? That stuff's pretty strong. Um, anyways, so our starter is Wild Run, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Wild One, One, Wild Run Dragoon. What he does is G break one, um, put in your soul. Your opponent chooses a card from his or her drop zone, binds a faith, and you choose up to one of your other units and until end of turn it gets continuous. Thunder Strike two. What it does what Thunder Strike is uh it's active when your opponent's bind zone has two or more cards. So like, you know, it's it says Thunder Strike and then two, so that would mean two or more cards. Um they're all Thunder Strike two. Uh the cards that have that kind of skill. But you know, they, they might Add in other cards in the future that have like Slender Strike 3 or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyways, and it does, uh, eh, the Thunder Strike 2, what it does is during your turn, this unit gets power plus 5,000. So, you know, you give a, you, um, get a card from the drop zone, bind it, um, and then, uh, give one of your units power plus 5,000 until end of the turn, uh, as long as you know there's two bound cards face up which is really really easy to do like and it's it's not until end of turn so it does stay bound uh which is why it really works against legion so it's just really strong and uh yeah it's it's an awesome support for the deck the starter um it like it's so easy to get to so easy i mean even even if it did go back until the end of the turn, the reason I say it probably doesn't is it doesn't say until end of turn, like, you know, some of the older cards do, so I assume it's, it stays. Um, even, even then, it's easy to bind two cards in that turn, so it's pretty easy to bind two cards. You know, you use Vanquisher, and then you use another card, and boom, two cards are bound face up. Easy. It's pretty simple. Anyways... We have four Dragonic Vanquishers, so G-Break 2, uh, when your opponent's rear guard is put into the drop zone due to an effect from one of your cards, it gets power plus 3,000 and a crit, so that's very scary. It's it's pretty handy, uh, and it can get very scary. Um, uh, from what I can tell, it, it, you know, stacks as well, so that's, that's pretty... Yeah, uh, and as others goes, counter boss one during your turn when your G unit stride, you pay the cost if you do choose one rear guard in your opponent's front row, retire it, and bind it face up. Um, so you know that's a, that's already a bind for striding. That's what I meant. Like easy, easy to get to because you use this card and then you just use one other, which your stride either does or one of your grade twos do it, and or even a grade one can do it, and then boom, you got two. Um, I mean, you go for binding a lot of cards because you do get quite the power up from them. So, um, yeah, just a really amazing card, uh, and it this card is just awesome. It works well with the deck. It could get really scary with the G Break too if you know you get a couple off, uh, and it's just quite monstrous. Um, and for a back guard, uh, there's really not much to play. So we play three Dragonic Kaiser Crimson. Uh, I am, uh, <laughs> I will get to this, you know, Dragonic Kaiser Crimson deck eventually. Um, uh, so what he does is limit break for you if it's in Legion. Um, you choose an active your Legion mate and until end of turn, 
uh, I mean, until the end of turn, its ability is caught is is lost for one time so you his legion mate is um uh dragonic kaiser vermilion so you can basically you know just say you know you use this uh kaiser crimson skill uh on million and then uh you, you know you can attack the whole front row without a cost uh he's the back of anger because there really isn't much that could be that great for back of vanguard uh he's the best because what he could do is he could still put on a lot of pressure um you know there are units now with resist so that's always scary so you, um he's he's a good back of vanguard to help you you know push through that stuff and he's just a really con strong card in general um i mean there's another card that does similar not as much as he can do uh but one less and it also um it's also 10k so this is definitely a lot better um and i mean you rarely legion with him when, when you if you get him anyways because you'll ride into vanquisher as soon as you get vanquisher which is hard to get um so it, it's pretty simple but uh he's just there for whenever you need it um mostly strife fodder but He's still a really good back of Vanguard. And then, of course, that means we have to one, run one Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, uh, for the Legion mate for Crimson. So, you just run one of them, because, uh, of course, as I said, you rarely Legion. I mean, you normally stride, and uh, if you're on Crimson, you don't normally stride or just normal attack. So, yeah, you just need one for that rare, rare, rare scenario that you will Legion. Um... Anyways, moving on to our grade twos, we have four Voltage Horn Dragon. What he does, G Break one, uh, Counter Blast one. When it this unit attacks a Vanguard, if it's boosted, you pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, retires it, and binds it face up. So your opponent gets to choose, but it's a free bound for just getting a boost. Uh, not a free bound. It's a bound for just the Counter Blast as long as this guy's boost. Um, free bind. I mean. It's not bound. Um, so that, <laughs> on top of Dragonic Vanquisher, that's already two, right? So, like, it it gets silly how much you can actually do in this deck. Um, but uh, just a very strong card, of course. Um, and then we have four Demonic Dragon Berserker Chatura. Uh, what he does is this unit cannot attack a rear guard. It's continuous, and he also get continuous. Uh, rear guard during your turn when this unit um sorry during your turn this unit gets power plus three thousand and auto rear guard counter blast one when this unit attack hits a vanguard you can pay the cost if you do draw a card choose a card in your opponent's drop zone and bind it face up so this card's really strong uh puts on a ton of pressure for giving yourself a plush plus and uh binding a free card uh, of course as you can tell it it works against legion uh as well very well um and he swings for 11k. Uh, I know he's in 8k, but uh, it's it's very good that he at least swings for 11k. So you do have, you know, some kind of beater at least. Um, but he helps you just to get, you know, pluses, put on tons of pressure, and just he's he's ridiculous, honestly. Um, and then we have three Rock Climb Dragoon. Uh, what he does is G-Break 1. You Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. When it's placed on Rear Guard, if you have a Grade 3 or Grade Vanguard with Vanquisher in its car name, you pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses one of his or Rear Guards, retires it, binds it face up, and this unit get power plus 2,000 until end of turn. So you could be 11k beater when he's called. Um, and, you know, for a Counter Blast and Soul Blast, you get to retire um, a Rear Guard and then bind it. So... You know, just comboing all this. Um, I did consider running four Rock Climb Dragoon and three Demonic Dragon Berserker Chatura. Um, I prefer the four Chatura, uh, definitely. I think it works a little better with the deck, especially because you're normally kind of blasting with Vulture's Horn, so, you know, and, and Vanquisher, so Rock Climb's kind of like that. You know, you do it sometimes instead of all the time like the other two. Um, so, that that's just... You know, that's personal preference. Uh, if you want to run four of Dragoon, Rock Climb Dragoon and four of Chatura, I mean three of Chatura, go ahead. But uh, I think this works a little better uh, in my eyes. Um, on the grade ones, four damage on flipping perfect guards, your Dragon Dancer. 
Anastasia. Um, and then we have uh, four Mighty Ball Dragon. He searches for Vanquisher, and he's a stride enabler. Um, and then we have four Chain Bolt Dragon. What he does is G break one when your opponent's rear guard is put into the drop zone. Due to an effect from one of your cards, if you have a grade three or grade Vanguard with Vanquisher and its card name, your opponent chooses a card from his or her drop zone and binds it face up. If he or she binds a card, you choose up to one of, uh, sorry, one of your other unit. It gets power plus 2,000 until end of turn. Um, that could kind of be scary with Vanquisher as well. If you give the power to Vanquisher and Vanquisher has the crit, um, I mean, you could give it to some other units, but the key, the thing with Vanquisher is just, you know, if he gets that plus 3k and plus crit, and then you give him a plus 2, he gets the extra 5, and then he has a booster, and it's like, okay, he's over 20. Um, um, but Chain Bolt's really good for just getting another card, uh, binding another card, um, and it just, yeah, he's really good for binding another card, and giving a bit of power to someone, um, I mean, it's only once per turn, but still, he's good at just helping you rack up the binds as you can, um, it's just a very, very important card in the deck, honestly, and then finally, we have two Dragon Dancer, Bernadette, uh, what she does is Thunder Strike 2, uh, Soul Blast 1, when this unit boosts, you may pay the cost, if you do, until end of the battle, the boosted unit gets power plus 3,000, and, uh, Auto rearguard, counterblast one, when the student attack hits a vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses one of his or her rearguards, retires it, and binds that card face face up. So, it's a lot of pressure, on top of the fact, actually, you could just give the plus two to her, or the unit in front of her, because uh, that would be a, also a plus five, and then it, you know, does make quite a difference. Um, so, these little pluses might not seem like much, but they are, um... And I mean, if you have two of uh, uh, Chain Bolt, you could give it to her and then Vanquish her, depending. Um, it could be quite scary. Uh, but yeah, she's really good for just keeping the pressure on, um, you know, being an awesome booster and just keeping the pressure on with the binding and the retiring and, and you know, she gives a power up and uh, uh, she's just really good. Um, you only need two of her. Uh, more than that is a little too much. Um... But uh, two of her, because she's an on-hit thing. And it's nice that she uses a soul, too. Alright, and then on to our triggers. We got four Triumph of Thumber, Resif. Uh, what he does is put it in your soul. When your Vanguard attacks, if you have a grade 3 or grade of Vanguard, Vanquisher in your card name, pay the cost. If you do, draw a card, choose one of your Vanguards, and it gets power plus 5,000 until end of the turn. End of the battle. Uh, so he's a, you know, Vanquisher... Great. Uh, and then we have four Malevolent Dijin. Um, so a crit. Uh, then we have four Suspicious Dijin. Four draw. And four DD of Love. Kama. Um, so set and trigger lineup. A crit, four draw, four heal. Finally, on to our stride units. We've got four of the new card Conquering Supreme Dragon Dragonic. Vanquisher Voltage. What he does is you choose a face down card named this card um, from your G zone. Uh, turn your face up. Um, and it gets auto Vanguard when the student attack hits a Vanguard. Your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards, retires it. You choose up to two cards from your opponent's drop zone and bind them face up. And it also gets continuous Vanguard G break three. During your turn, all the units in your front row get power plus 3000 for each card in your opponent's bind zone. So this card's amazing. Uh, reason being is you use it like turn the second or third stride um i mean i always use the third stride but uh second's debatable depending on how many cards are in the bind zone um and with that g break three skill it's crazy because y you know you unflip him so you can use him in the second turn um but it it's crazy because this because um the other version um conquest can only give you up to 10 um uh, but this version can just keep the three, so no matter counting how many cards are in your opponent's, you know, bind zone, it could just keep stacking. So it can go over ten once it once there's more than three, um, which is huge. And it's your whole front row, which is crazy strong. Um, I mean, 
you know, I'm sure people do wonder, you know, why don't you play any power-up cards in the deck or anything? Well, honestly, the strides are the power-up cards. They they do the powering up for the cards that get bound. So um, the rest of your deck can be based around binding and stuff. Um, so you could get as many as you want. So then you could just go crazy with power when you stride with a card like this. But this just this card is just monstrous. Like you can, oh my god, you can hit like 18k extra power no problem just <laughs> this card should just finish your opponent off like i i doubt they'll survive a turn with a uh, second turn with this but if they do you have a card for it um anyways then we have two supreme conqueror dragon conquest dragon uh you, what he does is once per turn you choose a face down card named this card in your g zone turn it face up and if the number of face up cards in your g zone is two more you choose one rear guard in your opponent front row. Retired until end of turn. All units in your front row get power plus 5,000 for each open rear guard in your opponent's front row. So, of course, there can only be two open rear guards in your opponent's front row. So, that's why he can only give you 10. So, he's not bad as a second ride. Um, definitely pretty good. It's conditional if you want to stride him or not, um, depending on him or voltage. Uh, because, yeah, if you have more than three... If you have more than three in your opponent's bind zone, you go into Voltage and say screw Conquest, because uh, con Conquest can just Conquest can't hit over ten. So, uh, like he's really good, and it's always you know it'll always be like either five or ten k for your front row extra power. Uh, but Voltage goes nuts with how much power you can give out. So you really only need two of these. Um, later on, you don't need him um he's just kind of for early on as a second stride if you can you know if you don't have enough in the bind zone you go conquest and uh yeah try to get the power from the front row so that's pretty handy and uh yep and then we have one thunder dragon knight zoras so what he does is when this unit attack gets vanguard your opponent chooses one of his or her regards retire it you choose up to two cards from your opponent's drop zone and bind them so a free two, uh, well, with a hit, you know, you bind two, which is awesome. Already binding two, and you get to retire one of your opponent's cards. Uh, you're starting Vanguard's, Vanguard, always. I mean, you're starting Stride, always. And then finally, we have one True Eradicator, Finish Blow Dragon. Now, this might look weird as a the last card instead of Blizza, but there's a reason we play this. Uh, it is G-Break 2, Counterblast 1, choose a face-down card, name... Uh, choose a face down card from G zone and turn it face up until end of turn. This unit gets auto vanguard when your opponent's rear guard is put to the drop zone due to effect from one of your other cards. This unit gets power plus five thousand and crit plus one until end of turn. Um, it has a second skill, but it can't be used in this deck. But this is mainly used because you can stack it as well. Um, and for how much like uh, for how much uh, retiring you can do. Um, you know, you get a few stacks, and then a bunch of crits, and then you could run Blizza. Um, I could see people who would r prefer running Blizza over this card, so go ahead and run Blizza if you want to. But I do prefer this card because you could stack crits on top of it too. So instead of just finishing your opponent, you do guarantee the finish uh, as long as they don't have a perfect guard. Because either way, they're going to perfect guard this or Blizza. Uh, they're going to perfect guard whichever one. Um, as long as they have it. So I like this card better because you can kind of guarantee your win with the extra crit stacks. Um, and it does uh, play around your deck as well, too. Um, yeah. So, anyways, thank you guys for joining me for this deck profile. Hope you guys joined. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more videos from me, on the left, there are Let's Play videos. So you can go and check those out. And if you guys aren't up for that, on the right, there are card fight vanguard videos, so you can go and check that out. And if you're still not up for those, I have Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, and a Versus series on my channel, so you can go to my channel and check that out. Also, down below is my review channel, where I do reviews, countdowns, game chats, which is like a podcast, and more. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Skype, all listed at the top there. That is all. Hope you guys enjoy.